Hello and welcome to another episode in the series Quick Revision Concepts and Tricks. This is especially useful for all your competitive exams for engineering entrances as well as NDA. In today's discussion, we will discuss a topic integration. In that, more specifically, we will look at a fundamental rule which is called biparts and how you can solve it in a better way. So I will tell you a shortcut or a trick to solve the questions in a better way. This is the question given to you. And how would you solve these type of questions? It is obvious that there are two type of functions. So and they are multiplied with each other or they are together. So the actual process is you have to use integration by parts and you have to identify what your u is, what your v is, you have to use ilate and solve. What if I tell you this question is, the answer for this question is as simple as one step, right? You might be wondering how it is I did it in one step. I did not use any of this concept. So there is a rule called Cauchy's rule, which states that integral, instead of using uv, the better method whenever you have an algebraic function. So the first, the condition should be you should have an algebraic for sure. Whenever you have an algebraic plus an exponential or a trigonometric function, you can use a rule called Cauchy's rule, which states that integral di is nothing but di1 minus d1 i2 plus d2 i3 minus d3 i4 up to so on till we get a zero. And d is your differentiable term or your algebraic term. i is your exponential or your trigonometric term. d1, d2, d3 means you are differentiating once, twice, thrice respectively. i1, i2, i3 means what you are integrating once, twice, thrice respectively. So this is your Cauchy's rule and now simply putting that rule, what is this? This is an algebraic, so this will be d, this will be i. So in your rough you can say d is x cube, i is e power x. Now d1 means what you have to differentiate once. Derivative of x cube will be 3x square. i1 will be what you have to integrate once. Integral e power x will be e power x. d2 will be what derivative of 3x square will be 6x. i2 will be what integral e power x. d2 means you are differentiating whatever d1 is there. That means you are differentiating twice. Similarly d3 will be what 6 and d4 finally will be 0. Similarly i3 will remain the same. Derivative of e power x will be e power x only. Now if you use the formula di1, di1 means what? You are using x cube into e power x minus 3x square into e power x plus 6x into e power x minus 6 into e power x. Alternate positive negative sign. So see first one you are only taking d not d1. di1 minus d1 i2 plus d2 i3 minus d3 i4 and so on. So I can take e power x common, I will get just get x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 6 plus c. Very easy, right? So this method will help us solve questions of biparts very easy. But provided the condition should be, the caveat here is, it should be algebraic. You should have one algebraic and then you should either have a trigonometric or an exponential function. With this, trust me, any question in uh, integration by parts, 
where algebraic functions are involved, you can tackle in no time. So let's move on. Before moving on to the next, uh, there's an important announcement which is to be made. We are now closing the admissions for crash course. So the crash course admissions are now closed, right? So we have successfully run eight batches and the crash course admissions are closed now. Having said that, a lot of students are approaching me for any help for the last minute revision, especially for the MSET exam. For the MSET exam, crash course is closed. So what we did is we made a study bundle kind of a thing at an affordable price of 5,000 rupees. So you can just, uh, you will get all the chapter wise videos. You will get the study material, which is required for the exam. Uh, in the chapter wise, you will be learning all important tricks like this and previous year questions. And also we will give you flashcards and a revision plan, one video of revision plan and five full length mock tests for your practice. So this is a do it yourself study bundle wherein you can revise it by your own, right? So you can just click on the link given in the description below. And just by clicking on the link, give your phone number, name, email ID, and you can just buy the course. Once you uh, buy the course, you will get the link to download the app and you can access it. So this is a revision course. So unfortunately, the, the crash course admissions, we are full now. Our capacity is full. So we don't have any more crash course as such for MSET. But this is a revision bundle which will help all the students. So do spread the word. And also pleased to inform you that we have started admissions for 2021, which is the next year admissions. So if you are watching this video, if you are a repeater or if you are studying in 12th now, if you have just come to 12th or your first year, you can have access already. We have started batch one and that is almost full. So we are starting batch two now. We are opening admissions for batch two for the regular. Regular, it's almost full. Uh, long term we just started one batch so we are uh, taking admissions for that so you can again uh, the links are given below and uh, also you can use spark 20 you're getting a 20 percent off on the course and uh, even for regular year you can use spark 20 to get a attractive discount same with the je as well je also the batch one is almost full so if you take the je package your MSET will also be included in that, right? So both of them are very similar packages. Again, you have a discount code exclusively. This is only for few days. So you can use that and you can uh, enroll for the course. It's a very interesting course. We, we are uh, having live classes. We are discussing a lot of, uh, we have a lot of video sessions. We are solving each and every exercise question in the book and also a lot of doubt clarification sessions and mock tests. Also, this is exclusively for uh, 11th students or the first year students, inter first year students, wherein again we are starting few to fresh batches. So we are open for admission so you can enroll and we will intimate you whenever the batch starts. Okay, now let's get back. Now look at the second type of question. Integral x cube log x whole square. Now how do you tackle a biparts question when log is given. Here you just have to do one extra step. Whenever you are observing log in integration, remember this rule blindly. Log x assume it to be t. So if you are assuming log x to be t, x will be e power t. So dx will be e power t dt. So now let's do this. So integral x cube. x cube will be what instead of x you are having e power t whole cube log x will be what that will be t so this will be t square dx will be what e power t dt so what will this be now this will be e power t into e power t this will be e power 40 this will be t square this will be dt it's a very simple method now so we have used the log substitution and so we have used method of substitution to get it, this is the only extra step. Now look at this guys. Now if you look at this, this simply looks like our di rule. Yeah, this is my algebraic function. So this is d. This I can call it i. 
So d I can write it as t square, i I can write it as e power 4t, d1 will be derivative of t square 2t, i1 will be e power 4t by 4 that is you are whenever you have integration and you have a coefficient you divide by that coefficient in differentiation you multiply by that coefficient in integration you divide by that coefficient d2 the derivative of 2t will be 2 and i2 integral e power 4t is e power 4t again but here you have 4 so you will have 4 square similarly d3 also you can do which will be 0 and d4 will be e power 4t by 4 cube you will get. Now what will be my answer now? My answer will be now di rule di1 which will be t square e power 4t by 4 minus d1 i2 d1 i2 will be what? 2t into e power 4t by 4 square plus d2 i3 plus 2 into e power 4t by 4 cube plus c. This is my final answer now. Here I can further simplify since I have used method of substitution. What I can do is I can substitute back. So you know e power t is x. So what will be e power 4t? That will be x power 4, right? So e power 4t everywhere I can take common so I will get x power 4. Also denominator everywhere you have 4 so by 4 I will take common. t you know it as log x so x power 4 by 4 so I will first get log x whole square minus 2 times log x by 4 I will get which is basically log x by 2 plus I will get log x by 8 minus of 2 plus of 2 by 8. 2 by uh, uh, 2 by 4 4 is a 16 4 is a 64 so I and also 4 is common so I will get plus 1 by 8 here of course it will end with plus c now check which option is the answer x power 4 by 4 log x whole square minus log x by 2 plus 1 by 8 so it will be the first option will be my final answer right understood easy right the only extra step is you need to first to use method of substitution and then do this trust me guys this is a level 2 question and we got it very easily so once you apply the method of substitution you I apply log x equals to t so if you know log x is t since it is base e, x will be e power t dx i can do and then you can substitute and solve now, coming to our DIY questions, right? So, I have given you two DIY questions which I want all of you to solve and these are very easy DIY questions. One is a log x type and the other is the model which we just discussed and you can also do trigonometry models. Do those questions, comment the answers below, comment the right option below in the comment section and you can also discuss the same. Let's discuss the same in our telegram group. I have given the link of the telegram group here. So let's discuss the questions here in the telegram group. If you haven't joined it, you can join it. The link has been given below. So we will be coming up. Hope you are enjoying this series. We will be coming up with more such quick revision concepts and tricks before your exams. And we will try to cover all the topics and discuss the important tricks in this. Okay. So, thank you.